Hello and good morning, good afternoon or whatever time it is and uh, welcome to another ramp FTP test um, that I did. Um, let's first maybe talk a little bit about uh, why I do another test and uh, why do I do that test so often. So um, after a lot of people said that uh, oh, you can never stand during a ramp test because uh, in the last video that I posted on Instagram I was standing in the last I think 20 seconds of the um, the ramp test I thought okay I'll do another one seated to show you that it actually doesn't make a big difference so uh, you will see in the end uh, where the where the result goes the result from the last ramp test that I did uh, um, approximately a week before was uh, 354 watts as the calculated or estimated FTP so let's see where we where we will get today um, I also do the, the ramp test uh, um, preferred to the 20 minute uh, or even one hour test because you can do it often. Um, there's no problem doing the, uh, the ramp test uh, even once a week, uh, but at, at least once a month. And you don't need long time to, to recover from it. So um, uh, yeah, it doesn't really hurt your, uh, your, your rest of the training or riding because you, yeah, if you do it, uh, basically uh, an hour or two hours later, you're actually feeling quite good again and the next day you can definitely ride as normal. Um, that's why I, I like to do the, um, the ramp test. And uh, the other thing is that uh, I'm not really training for short efforts because uh, somebody who is very good in, in, in short efforts and maybe can keep a very high power for uh, two, three, five minutes, um, uh, those people, the the ramp test would uh, would show higher numbers than the uh, estimated actual FTP. But as I'm usually training for long efforts, um, then that is not the case for me. So for me, the ramp test is actually pretty much in line with uh, uh, what I get from a 20 minute test or what's my one hour all out uh, effort that I did. So that's why I'm doing the ramp test again. And uh, yeah, you can see that we've, we've done the warm up already and we are now uh, already doing uh, 200 watts. So um, uh, very, very easy riding. So I thought I used the opportunity and talk a little bit about the difference between the FTP and the lactate threshold. Because uh, uh, quite a few people uh, mix those things up or think that they, they, they mean the same or that they are on the, on the, on the same, your same power. But that is actually not the case because they're two very different uh, concepts actually. Because if you consider that the FTP means basically the power that you can hold for the duration of one hour or usually most people, it's maybe it's just under one hour. Um, that means that after this one hour, you're done. You're, you're completely uh, blown and uh, um, uh, so uh, your, your lactate levels will be very high by the end of that hour because you keep building up lactate, building up lactate, and then after one hour you're game over. Um, and the power that you can hold as an average for that time, that is your FTP. In contrary, the uh, lactate threshold, the lactate threshold is the, uh, the moment uh, during your power curve where you are uh, reaching a point where the lactate build up is higher than the, uh, the, 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 the consumption of lactate uh, of your body. That means from that point onwards, you will keep building up more lactate and at one point you basically will blow up. So your FTP sits above the lactate threshold. Uh, um, uh, and if you're riding at or just below the lactate threshold, as long as you're fueling well enough and you can get uh, a high level of carbs into your body, you can actually ride at that power for a pretty long time. Uh, um, um, I will show you my data a little bit later, but uh, uh, like my, my lactate threshold is pretty much my 70.3 uh, Ironman power. So um, I'm able to ride at that power for over two hours. And then I'm still able to run one and a half hours uh, um, a half marathon, which I definitely would not be able if I would do an, an, an FTP test because after that one hour, my legs and muscles would be completely sore. 
so to understand these values uh, and, and what is the, the difference, I try to do once better twice a year uh, a lactate testing. Um, I go to a, a performance lab here in, in, in Frankfurt that is also working together with Patrick Lange, IQ Athletics. So they, they're very well known and uh, really know what they're doing. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you now uh, what is the, um, the outcome of my, my, my test results. And uh, um, the test setup is relatively similar actually to the ramp test, but with longer intervals. So you start at 100 watts, uh, you get your, your mask on to, to, to measure your, your oxygen content and your, your, your fat burn rate and everything. And then uh, uh, every three minutes, the uh, resistance increases by uh, 30 watts. And then at every step of the, uh, of the, the ladder, uh, you get taken uh, um, uh, some blood out of the ear uh, um, and they will measure the uh, lactate content in that. And uh, yeah, so here is the uh, overall test. So you can see here the full table of the, uh, the RAM test that I did in the lab. And uh, I would say that the two, uh, yeah, the most important columns is the column three, where you can see the lactate, uh, and the column five, where you can see the um, uh, the energy consumption that my my body has at the given uh, given power output. Um, so my base lactate is around 0.5, 0 0.57, 0 um, and and that also means that there's always lactate in your blood. You uh, you always have lactate. It's never it's never zero. So you want to find out two different thresholds. The first threshold is where uh, the lactate goes up, um, uh, which uh, basically means that uh, um, up, uh, after that point, your body is producing, producing additional lactate. And then you want to find the point, which is usually around, I would say around two or 1.8. Uh, um, and, and that is the point when the uh, lactate production is higher than the lactate consumption of the of the body that is your lactate threshold 2 and uh, um, that is uh, then going towards your FTP value after that because then it means if you go above that level you will blow up at some point um, and uh, uh, yeah you can see here that uh, um, that happens by me for me around 250 watts is where the uh, the lactate goes up and then I have a big jump uh, um, uh, after the uh, step eight uh, at over 310 watts, where I'm also consuming uh, or burning over a thousand uh, calories per hour, which will also be very difficult to, to replenish that in a, um, uh, in a good way. Meanwhile, we can also see um, uh, uh, on screen uh, in the background uh, that we're now riding at uh, around 300 watts. My heart rate is around 150, and you can see that is pretty much in line with uh, uh, with the test. The test, I must say, I've done in March. Um, so that is already yeah uh, quite some months ago. And I did that in the beginning of my Ironman preparation. So um, I would expect that all of these values um, uh, have improved because uh, um, uh, it was when I started to prepare for Ironman Frankfurt, which was four months uh, after that. And in uh, Ironman Frankfurt, uh, um, yeah, uh, I did uh, a very good performance. So um, I think I was very happy with my, my power and everything that I uh, performed during the race. So in the FTP test, we're, uh, we're now approaching, uh, um, yeah, basically my uh, threshold. We're riding currently at my uh, lactate threshold, which is around 320 watts, 320 watts is uh, um, the power that I'm holding in, in, in most of my really good 70.3 uh, Ironmans, uh, which is, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, around 4.2, uh, 4 watts per kilogram, depending on the, the weight I will have at race day. But this is a, a power that I can sustain as long as I'm able to fuel. And uh, yeah, where did we find that uh, that power? Um, uh, that you can see in another graph that I'm going to show you here. So what you can see here are my two uh, thresholds. Uh, um, that is uh, um, the first one is around 242. So that is uh, um, yeah, that is uh, uh, yeah the, the the upper level of my my zone two, uh, or it goes towards the upper level. Uh, it's currently around 10% above that. Uh, and uh, um, then you can see my uh, IAS, which is in German the, uh, 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 the aerobe Schwelle, 
um, so the uh, the level where you um, where you start producing heavily lactate and that you can see on the red curves. The red curve is the the lactate curve. Uh, which shows the concentration of lactate in your uh, in your blood and then you have the blue line which is the um, the heart rate and then uh, you see the power on the um, on the axis in the in the in the horizontal and uh, yeah so the, um, the the second point is the the lactate threshold which is around 320 watts so 319 was measured there i would guess that maybe by now it's around 325 or something like that and that is basically the the limit that i should ride at um, if i'm racing and i still want to perform a, a, a run afterwards so i should never exceed that point the reason why i cannot ride that point in an in an ironman is because I would not be able to replenish my uh, my energy loss with uh, uh, with carbs um, because uh, yeah I'm not able to consume enough carbs to to, to ride at the, at that power and uh, but for 70.3 um, uh, considering the um, the amount of carbs that I still have anyway stored in my in my body um, I'm able to uh, replenish part of that loss. And still have enough uh, um, to uh, to run uh, a half marathon afterwards, but I would not be able to to do a, a marathon after after that kind of power. So we're now uh, um, back in the in the in, in the ramp test, and uh, yeah, things are getting uh, a, a bit spicier. We're now uh, we're now at three hundred and eighty watts. We're approaching uh, four hundred. And uh, yeah, so that is basically uh, close to my, my 10 minutes power or yeah, 15 minutes power currently. Um, I did a few swift races where I was at around 380 watts for, for 20 minutes. And then if you do the, the, the normal uh, old school uh, calculation in how to, to, to calculate your FTP, it would be around 95% of your uh, 20 minute power. Recent tests have shown that even pros are not able to hold 95%. So maybe um, it's a bit closer to, to, to 92 or 93%. Uh, maybe for, for the normal amateur, it's actually closer to 90% because you don't have uh, um, the, the strength in the leg to, to, to hold that power for one hour, uh, considering the 20 minute effort. So now uh, uh, over 400 watts. Uh, and as you can see, I'm seated the whole way uh, uh, just to show uh, to everybody that uh, yeah uh, that uh, i'm able to basically produce similar results no matter if i'm seated or if i'm standing in the last end of the of the test but uh, yeah uh, i i really like the, uh, the 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 test not only because you have one consistent test so you're you're very um, it's easy for you to to evaluate improvement or progress uh, over over time because you can do it repeatedly but also because it's actually a good workout um, uh, you get a really nice uh, uh, yeah vo2 max effort in uh, you're riding through all your zones of course it's a relatively short test so the, the total test is only around 45 minutes and i would say around 20-25 uh, minutes of that is actually really uh, really solid work uh, maybe another point here when you see the colors on the screen because uh, you you see the blue the green the yellow and the uh, orange or red color um, this is the power zones um, and uh, um, that is not to be mixed up with the heart rate zones because the heart rate zones are actually not in line with the power zones so the um, the green in the uh, in the power zone is a different zone than the green in the heart rate zone. So uh, make sure to to know what is what when you are uh, referring to the colors in uh, in Swift. So we're now uh, in 440 watts. So that is uh, um, just uh, uh, above my uh, five minute power max. So um, yeah, the legs are are really hurting now and uh, um, i know that uh, now it's it's turning not only into a physical but also into a mental effort you see my uh, my cadence is pretty high at around 100 um, um, when i'm racing i usually race at around 95 cadence uh, which is relatively high but it uh, i think it's good for the for the for the knees and the joints to ride at a higher cadence 
um, because it's less uh, uh, yeah less impact or less effort and uh, yeah heart rate is at 180 so my my max heart rate that i can reach when i do uh, shorter very hard efforts like long sprints is around 190 192 so i'm now getting uh, pretty close to my uh, my uh, my max heart rate um, maybe there also a word what we found out in the uh, in the lab the last time was that my my uh, zone 2 heart rate is around 142-143 on the bike. Uh, um, and uh, why I say on the bike is because uh, um, it usually is around 5 to 10 beats higher on the run. Um, so that is also something to take into account when you are training according to your zones. Uh, you see heart rate still increasing a little bit. We're at 182 now. Uh, um, I'm uh, yeah almost through the 460 watts. So the, the power where I blew up uh, in my last test was uh, at uh, halfway through the 480 watts. So um, uh, that was basically the point now when I uh, started to get out of the saddle to uh, get the last push done. Uh, and as promised this time I stay in the saddle and I keep uh, uh, yeah, uh, seated uh, like Swift also recommends in general for the test. But I would say that as if you're standing up quite regularly during during riding outside uh, when you do like a long hard climb then i don't see any reason why you shouldn't do it also on a uh, on a test of course not do it completely standing and uh, yeah here this game over so i'm uh, yeah basically halfway through 480 watts is when i blew up um, but i think that uh, i can actually maybe get to 500 uh, pretty soon and the result of the test 355 so it was one watt higher than uh, when i was standing up in the last test uh, a week ago so i'm happy with that hope you enjoyed the um, the video and if you like it or have any any comments just uh, uh, drop them below and uh, we'll see you soon bye bye